Horse racing is returning to southeastern Kentucky, bringing hundreds of jobs to the region. LEX 18's Conroy Deluche has more from Corbin. Dad gum, this is a great day. And a historic day for Corbin and Knox County, the return of horse racing to southeastern Kentucky. It creates construction jobs. It creates permanent jobs. And it brings tourists from all over to spend their dollars in your community. Cumberland Run will not only host harness racing, the venue will hold about 150 historic horse racing terminals. If you recall, just a year ago, the future of HHR was in doubt after a state Supreme Court decision ruled that it was illegal under Kentucky's paramutual wagering standards. You're talking about 60,000 people that, uh, that rely on this industry to feed their families. Supporters of HHR said that the money from those games was put into the live horse racing industry, which fuels a lot of jobs. You couldn't afford to let it get damaged by 120 not passing. So lawmakers scrambled during the 2021 legislative session to pass Senate Bill 120 by a narrow margin, but a bipartisan effort, allowing HHR terminals to reopen once the governor signed the bill. It was taking people from every region, from every party, stepping up to protect our signature industry. Cumberland Run and a new HHR satellite venue in Williamsburg, Cumberland Mint, represent a more than $75 million investment, which will bring in about 200 new jobs. Go. All right. This day marks the next phase in a decade-long effort by Keeneland Association to bring racing to the region. And this one comes thanks to a partnership with ECL Racing Management. This relationship will result in best-in-class facilities generating millions in tourism dollars for the region and creating a destination that makes us all proud. Officials say the track should be open in time for a meet scheduled in October 2022. In Corbin, Conroy Deluche, Evening Edition.